Hello, I welcome you all. Uh, the problem reads, uh, determine the normal force, shear force, and the moment at sections passing through points A and F. Remember, BC is thin at B, and uh, there, is, there is a smooth slot in it at C. Uh, the pin at C is fixed to member CD. So the pin at C is fixed uh, to member C, D. Uh, this problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics uh, Statics uh, textbook, the 10th edition by R.C. Bella. So at A, it's a fixed support, we expect reactions AX, AY, and moment uh, MA. And so is D at D, support D, we expect DX, DY, and uh, moment MD. We are not going to work out these supports, reactions. We are just going to concentrate on the sections that will give us the results that we need to use for us to determine uh, the internal forces at uh, points E and F. So we'll start with uh, the member with uh, the applied load because this is the one that is going to transfer the loads to the other members of uh, uh, this particular continuous beam. So we have, uh, we are going to concentrate on uh, beam BC. All right. So beam BC Let's isolate it there and draw it. So it looks like this. It looks something like this. It we have a hinge at B. So this hinge we expect reactions B Y and B X. At C, it's free to move in the horizontal, but it's going to have a reaction in the y so we just call this as cy then we have a reaction i mean an applied load like so uh something like so triangular load and uh, the peak of this triangular distributed load is uh 80 this point is 80 pounds per feet then we have a concentrated load, uh, which is 500, I mean 500 pounds, okay, something like that. This is at 500 pounds and it is at 60 degrees, measured from uh, the horizontal positive x-axis. All right, so there we go. So we need to find the support or the forces at B and C because these are the ones that will be transferred to member A, B and member C, uh, C, D. So let's find the equivalent forces for this distributed triangular force. So we expect a force somewhere there. Let's find the area for this. It is half times. 80 times the length which is I did indicate the length let me do so so we have from that point to that point to that point uh, this is three feet right and this is two feet okay so 80 uh, by three so this gives us 80 by 3 is uh, 240, half of that is uh, 120, so this is 120 pounds. Right, then we expect some two and is acting it, we need to show where it is acting, its position, from there to there. This one is uh, equal to two thirds, two thirds of uh, three length. This is going to be equal to uh, two feet. Okay, great. 
uh, let's find the components for this uh, um, uh, this this uh, concentrated force all right so it will have uh, two forces I mean two components uh, they are not too clear can what color can I use can I use green all right something like this it's going to have a component a horizontal and uh, I mean a horizontal and a vertical two components like this this one is going to be equal to 500 500 cos 16 and then this one is going to be equal to 500 um, sine 16 all right let's do that now there we go so summation of moments about point b equal to zero what do we have uh, we have uh, 120 this is clockwise so it's minus moment 120 by 2 and then we have minus 500 uh, sine 16 uh, by 3 and then we have uh, plus cy by 5 equal to 0 therefore our cy is going to be equal to uh, scrub my calculator minus 120 by 2 minus 500 sine 16 by 3 mm -hmm. then divided by 5 so this gives me cy of uh, 300 it's positive 307 307.8 uh, 8 uh, 0 76 pounds okay 307.807 pounds okay let me check it again 120 by 2 minus 500 sine 16 by 3 divided by 5 three zero seven point eight zero seven six great okay so let's find the rest uh, summation of forces in the y equal to zero like so what do we have we have um dy minus one twenty minus five hundred sine sixteen plus cy equal to zero therefore our by is going to be equal to minus 120 minus 500 sine 60 um, plus cy which is 307.807.8076 so this gives us by is equal to 24245 point uh, two zero five one pound okay then we have summation of forces in the x equal to zero what do we have we have bx uh, minus 500 uh, cos 16 cos 16 we know it is 0.5 therefore our bx is equal to 250 pounds so we found this which is cool so what we need to do now is to go to e we do a section here okay and if we did a section there we are going to have e like this okay can i include these ones here by so that i'll create some space by is equal to 245.2051 cy is equal to uh, 307.8076 pounds and bx is equal to uh, 250 pounds great i'll get rid of this soon so let's draw the section 
we are just going to use the right hand section the right hand side section of um, our section okay so there we go uh, this point is E this point is E uh, we have the E here and then this point here is uh, B so when you look at B seeing this B here so we expect the transfer of all these reactions to the other side we just change sign so we expect BX to be applying some compression like so and then we expect PY to be pushing downwards this one is a, a 245 um, point 251 pounds and then here uh, we expect our shear to be VE like so our normal force to be NE and then we expect also our moment to be ME like so and this dimension here is uh, this is two feet all right I think this is all we have included all the information here so let's uh, take a section I mean we've taken a section let's work out so let's start with taking moments about that point we found me so say summation of moments about point e equal to zero all right what do we have uh we have uh can i wrap this for now all right so what do we have here we have um minus two four five point minus because it's a negative moment times two um what else then minus me is equal to zero therefore our me is go going to be equal to um minus minus 245 point 245 point 205 Two 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 zero five one times two. So this gives us a four a four ninety point one uh, pounds feet. Right, and then summation of forces in the y equal to zero. Um, what do we have? We have a minus twenty. 245 205 uh, plus VE is equal to zero therefore our VE is just going to be equal to 245.21 pounds and then finally we have summation of forces in the X equal to zero what we have uh, we have minus NE uh, minus 250 uh, is equal to zero therefore our NE our NE is going to be equal to minus 250 pounds so let me create an outline for each one of these so ME there we go we have a sign of negative which means direction changes then we have VE direction maintains then we have the normal force NE direction has to change all right so let's do another section here at F and let's draw the free body diagram and clear create a boundary they are like so okay so if we did so uh there we go if we did so we are going to have something like this okay this point is c and c uh we just have a vertical reaction so we just expect a force in that manner up like that which is a 307.807 
and then at F we expect a shear force which is a VF like so then an NF like so and the moment in that direction which we are calling MF and this one is at uh, the length is 4 feet all right so let's start doing the work we're going to take moments about uh, F so I to find all these uh, reactions so summation of moments about point F equal to 0 and clockwise being our reference what do we have uh, we have um, a plus 307.8076 times 4 uh, uh, plus mf equal to 0. Therefore, our mf is just going to be equal to um, this is 307 point. Okay. So, what do we have? We have 307 point. 8076 times 4 so this gives us a minus this is going to be a minus uh, 1 12 12 31 12 31 point 23 pounds feet okay and then we have summation of forces in the y equal to zero like so what do we have we have a minus 307.8076 uh, minus vf equal to zero therefore our vf our vf our vf is just going to be equal to um, minus 307.81 pounds then finally we have summation of forces in the x direction okay what we have we have nf equal to zero so let me create a boundary uh, to clearly identify our final solution so we have mf in there we have vf uh, we have vf in there and then we have finally nf all right i guess we are done and uh, I hope the video was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and sharing my video. Bye-bye. And I'll uh, see you in my next uh, screencast.